In this video, we're going to summarize 20 documents simultaneously with Monilo OpenAI GPT 3.5 Turbo API. Important things is that we have to respect context limitations. We're going to use Tick Token for that. We have to chunk it so we can't lose track of chunks because each document is going to have its own chunks. We're going to summarize simultaneously using async IO. That's why we cannot lose track of chunks. And we're going to avoid rate limit errors by using a smart delaying tactic. We're going to talk more about the diagram, but let me show you what this is going to look like. We're going to download 20 Wikipedia articles about artificial intelligence. Okay, these are pretty long articles. Then we are going to get a somewhat complex summary of each chunk. We're going to divide it into 500 token chunks. So we're going to get summary for each chunk, as you can see, for each article. And then eventually, we're going to summarize those chunks and get a really concise summary of each of the Wikipedia articles. And we're going to do this, all of it, simultaneously using async.io. Let's run the code to see what we're dealing with. But before that, I just want to mention the code will be available to download at my Patreon. Link will be in the description, along with 70 plus other project files at my Patreon. So when we first run this, we will be downloading the Wikipedia articles. As you see, we are now downloading and storing it in our data folder. After that, we are starting. We are printing the total tokens for each. See, artificial intelligence have 10,000 tokens, so we are printing each. We are dealing with a total of 150,000 tokens, and we are starting our async calls. And once we reach a certain level, in this case, 60,000 tokens, allowing for some completions, then we set 60 second delay for the next 60,000. And after that, we set another 60 second. And we are receiving the summaries for the first chunk as we are waiting for the next 60, so the next chunk to be processed. Next async calls. OpenAI's currently, my account has 90,000 tokens per minute limitation plus 3,500 respond requests per minute so i am using 60,000 as a general criteria because i need to allow for summarization tokens as well so that's why i'm setting the delay at $60,000 60,000 token limit in this video we're also going to be learning about obviously how to use asyncio term color on how to print these colorful things to terminal and back off for intelligent retries with exponential back off so that when we run into errors, we can actually back out of them and retry again. But our main strategy is actually not reliant on back off or tenacity, but for on a custom logic that I came up with. We're going to be talking about the code and reviewing it shortly. Okay, our final processes is ready too. So what happened is that we first got summaries. These are the summaries for each chunk. That's why, actually, if you look at this document, you can see that each chunk actually says, this article discusses Godelian. Actually, if you were to go on top, this is Artificial Intelligence Wikipedia article. It says the document provides an overview. And then if you were to scroll down, it again says the document discusses three main topics because we have divided this Artificial Intelligence document into 21 chunks of 500 tokens. So each one is getting summarized separately. So that's why each one actually starts with this document discusses. Okay. So this is a method of summarization. You can come up with your own way. But so this is a general summary of the artificial intelligence article. The original article was something like 10,000 tokens, and we were able to summarize it down to 3,000. Also, this is the OpenAI's tokenizer. It's available at platform.openai.com slash tokenizer. However, after reducing it to about 3,000 tokens of summary, we actually send this entire thing for another summary, and that's where we get the final summaries. In this case, this is the summary of artificial intelligence, which is reduced down to 126 tokens, down from 10,000. So let's take a look at the diagram and explain what's going on in detail. So we are making a call to Wikipedia API with requests module. And we are downloading all 20 articles. And then we are dividing the articles into 500 token chunks using Tick Token, OpenAI's Tick Token. And then we are going to get a summary response for each chunk. So for each one of those chunks, we're going to get a summary. 
Now, if you were to do that for all the documents at the same time, since our total token count is 150,000, we're going to run into rate limit error and we're not going to get anywhere. So that's why I have decided on actually using 60,000 as a limit. And I'm counting the tokens as I am preparing them to be sent to async IO loop. And then after we reach if the first 6,000, then I'm setting for the next 60, for the next 60,000 worth of chunks, a 60 second delay. And after the next 60,000, then we're setting 120 second delay. And after that, we're setting 180 second delay. We never actually get there, but this is the idea. So then we make our simultaneous calls with async IO and get our summary. After that, wait 60 seconds and get the next summary and wait 100 wait another 60 seconds and get our summary. This is sufficient in the, for the case that is presented in this video. Then we actually keep track of the document by via its index so that when we actually receive the documents, we know that these chunks and the consecutive chunks that was going to come from after the delay is going to belong to a certain document. So then we actually, with the code, bring them together. So now we have our chunks combined into a single summary. And after that, we make another OpenAI API call to get these summarized into those small chunks we talked about, these final summaries. We are going to review the code here in a second, but like I said, this code will be available for my Patreon supporters. The link will be in the description. I also want to mention the EchoHive AI Academy that I have created. At, if you go to echohive.live on your browser, you can actually search all my videos, look at the descriptions, and find the code download links, echohive.live. So if you look at our imports, we are importing our request to make API calls to Wikipedia, OpenAI, of course. The requirements for this project is OpenAI, Take Token, Term Color, and Back Off. This will be available as well at the Patreon. We are importing uh, AsyncIO, path from pathlib to do some data folder file manipulations. But we are importing Take Token to be able to count tokens, term color, colored from term color to be able to print colorfully into the terminal. And we are importing back off, which is exponential, exponentially increasing delayed back off stra retry strategy. I have found this at OpenAI's documentation under rate limits, error mitigation. There's an example for tenacity. I didn't have much luck with that, but back off, I also didn't have much luck as far as mitigating rate, rate limit errors while summarizing. But since we are, we have a chance of running into other errors, such as the server being overloaded, I am still using the back off as a decorator on top of the function, GPT call function. So we are defining our encoding to be a tick token, the CL100K base and encoding for model GPT 3.5 Turbo. We are, we have this list of wiki articles and here is our download Wikipedia article function, which takes in that list and then makes the request to download that article and we extract its contents and we write it to a file under data. Then we initiate an empty data to be summarized list and we open those files, read them and append them to the docs to be summarized. After that, we loop over those documents and we actually print all the, the name of the article and how many tokens it contains. And also we are counting the total tokens and we print the total tokens as well. Our next function is divide document into 500 to token chunks. You can actually choose your own strategy. You can use length chains, cursive character splitter, if you like. I just wanted to use entirely vanilla implementation. So I just decided 500 tokens. This is completely arbitrary. So we make an empty list. Doc tokens is encoding encode document. And then we loop over it and then we just we once you encode the document then it's turned into a vector of numbers then you count those and then once you have 500 of them then you decode so then we turn it into a string again here's our function to call make a call to gpt 3.5 turbo you can also make a call to gpt4 but beware it will be pretty expensive here's our decorator to use back off on exception uh, it's an exponential back off, which means it'll try if it, if it, there's an error, it'll try a certain amount of delay. Then after that, if it gets the, an, another error, it'll keep increasing the amount of time it waits. And we are doing that for OpenAI error rate limit error. Maybe 
this should be for something else as well. But anyway, I didn't think that this was working very well. So I actually implemented my own delay strategy, which we're going to talk about. Here in the call GPT function, we are taking a document, obviously, and a delay. We're setting the delay to zero. And we say if delay, and there will always be delay, we print delaying for how many seconds, okay? And then we assign, we await for a Senkoyo to sleep with that much delay, all right? This is the way you can actually run a Senkoyo with some delay. And then we check. This is interesting. You, I just wanted to print, okay, starting async call for document, print the first 50 characters of the document. Now, since we have a document list, right? But while testing, I just want to show you real quick here, docs to be summarized. I was just using, for example, the first uh, zeroth index for the first element just to test things out. But if you do that, then it's a string and it's not going to work with this. That's why I'm saying if type of the document is a list, then actually do the first 50 characters of the first element. And if I am actually testing it out, then I'm actually automatically printing the first characters. I hope this is clear. Then we're making a call to OpenAI with async await. We have to await an async function. We are defining this function with async keyword ahead of the definition of the function. And here you do have to put an A in front of the create. Don't forget that. We define our model. Here we have our prompt for a summarizer. We give it this document. And again, we check for the same thing and I print finished async call for document. This is just information purposes, both the beginning and the end. So we can see these things printed right here. Then this is our summarized documents. Again, an async function takes in a document and then it creates a nested chunks. Now this is important so that we can actually keep track of the indexes. So it takes all the chunks of 500, we split it and then we form a nested structure. So it's a list of lists. So that we'll know which chunk belongs to which document. Create a flat list of all chunks then. We create a task list to be able to give it give to async IO. Doc indices, we're gonna keep track of the indices so we can combine the chunks back to so we can combine the summary chunks back back to its or as they come from a single. So we don't lose track of the summary chunks. We are keeping track of total token sent, so then we loop over the nested chunks, doc task indices. And then we initiate another loop and then we encode that and we get how many tokens there are. So then we add that to the total token sent. And when this total token sent reaches 60,000, then now we increase the segments. We assign it to segments and then we set a delay with the segments times 60. Since segment is not defined right away, then this will kick in because delay is set to zero. So we will have no delay once the segment reaches one, once we have more than 6,000 tokens, then we'll set that delay to 60 seconds. And once we reach 120,000 tokens, then segment goal will go up to two, then we'll set 120 second delay. Then we name our task to be the function, which takes in the chunk and the delay. And the task, doc task indices, we append the, the tasks, length of the tasks, and then we append the task to the tasks. And then we append the doc task indices to the doc indices. Summarize all chunk at once is all summaries. Await asyncio gather all the tasks. Right, this is how asyncio works. Group the summaries by document. Then once we receive the summaries, we actually recombine them to doc summaries, and then we create a summaries dictionary out of it, giving it the key of the name of the article with its summary. And then we return those summaries. And then we run the async function, async IO run, summarize documents with our list of docs to be summarized, which runs this function with our docs to be summarized, which is populated, right, with all our Wikipedia articles. Then we create a summaries.json file and we put dump all these information, all this information in there. Then we open it and then we get summaries out of that again. And then we have another async function, summarize summary. So now we're going to get the summaries and then we're going to summarize it again. Again, we def define our tasks. We get the final summaries and then we create a final summaries dictionary. This is simultaneous async calling as well. And then we return that and the final summaries, we run the async IO dot run, summarize summary function with the summaries. And then we open the final summaries JSON file we created and then dump it under it. So we get the final summaries like this. I hope this was clear.
please let me know in the comments or Discord channel, Discord server, if you have any questions. If you do enjoy the content, please give it a and subscribe and turn on the notifications so you'll be notified for future videos. Again, like I said, all this code will be available at Patreon. Link will be in the description. And don't forget to check out echohive.live. Take care and see you in the next one.